Gentlemen, Jack has arrived. And from Manchester, England, weighing in at 167 pounds, Gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. And we're underway. Oh, Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering Ooh. how he let this match get so out of hand.
action. The drama. This is electric. And Gallagher said, not this time. Lightning fast reflexes. Point Cole. Harsh impact. What a slam. Impactful for Jarry Spine. Look out. WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson is Look at this! Here he goes! Severe damage being inflicted to 
the back. He might have it. Avoids trouble there. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look out! And a pin attempt. Two, three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. He 
He's got the shoulders down. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowding around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Big time slam. Vicious. Got him up. Got him up your neck, man. Elbow drop. Right to the heart. statement here with this attack. Oh, somehow. Close call. You got to wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory. He's stalking his opponent from the top turf in coming. Devastating kick. Down with a power. He's got the shoulders down. And he got a near fall out of it. Not yet. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys, you almost forget that he's just a kid. If you remember, he first stepped into a WWE ring when he was just 19 years old. A striking blow. Stress further what Michael was saying about Tyler Bates' age. When most 19-year-olds were busy trading bombs with each other on social media, Bates was wowing a global audience in the inaugural United Kingdom Championship Tournament. Man, since that time, Bates has only gotten better. And it's scary to think of how good this guy is going to be five or ten years from now. Back now inside the ring. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys, you almost forget that he's just a kid. If you remember, he first stepped into a WWE ring when he was his shoulders are down. What is keeping this competitor going? How'd he do that? This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Stress further what Michael was saying about Tyler Bates' age. When most 19-year-olds were busy trading bars with each other on social media, Bates was wowing a global audience in the inaugural United Kingdom Championship Tournament. And since that time, Bates has only gotten better. And it's scary to think of how good this guy is going to be five or ten years from now. We've got a raucous crowd here in Philadelphia tonight, but what else would you expect after playing home to ECW for so many years? Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Not so fast. Going to the 
Rogers, clean off your face. Oh boy, he is rolling. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Oh, what impact! Knife edge shot echoing through the arena. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Now, this could very well be the beginning of the end. What are we going to see here? there. Just look at this. We've got a raucous crowd here at Philadelphia to expect after playing home to ECW for so many years. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The bruiser weight. You can bet that Pete Dunn is going to look to utilize his classic English mastery of submission holds and attacking an opponent's limbs. Dunn is also notorious for pushing the limits of WWE's rulebook. The thing about this match is I can't envision these competitors ever giving up. It's just not in their DNA. They can't walk after that attack to the back. signs of fatigue. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Well, at this point, I don't suspect he'll be putting this submission match on his highlight reel. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Pete Dunn is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiser Week. back up Pete Dunne's penchant for intimidation. I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance that his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of Dunne's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition were excited for the opportunity and happy to be in front of an English crowd, the bruiserweight showed everyone he wanted it more with those who were beatdowns. got it completely locked in. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brent Hitman Hart, 
Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alonzo Blaze, Natalya, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. He's in control. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I quit match by using a submission maneuver. For superstars who are proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win, but they need to perfect applying the submission move quickly. Come on, Corey. Try to keep up. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match in 2016's Extreme Rules event. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her Women's Championship against Natalya. The one thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose the match and her Women's Crown. Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know why the Nature Boy was banned from ringside. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. Of course, that was until Dana Brooke distracted Danny, giving Charlotte the opening to lock on figure eight and force Natalya to submit. It wouldn't be a flare match without a little bit of controversy, would it? Pete Dunne is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiser Week. When this guy's on, look out. Up Pete Dunn's penchant for intimidation. I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance, but his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of those United Kingdom Championship tournaments opposition were excited for the opportunity and happy to be in front of an English crowd, the Bruiser Wake showed everyone he wanted it more with those who would beat them. No luck against Dunn there. Too quick. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match in 2016's extreme. Take down the arm is trapped. Oh, clocked in the cross face. Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know that the Nature Boy was banned from ringside. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. Of course, that was until Dana Brooke distracted Daddy, giving Charlotte the opening to lock on the figure eight and force Natalya to submit. It wouldn't be a flare match without a little bit of controversy, would it? Nailed it! German suplex! He's making a statement here with this attack. A torturous knee! Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going on. 
what's going to happen next. This is going to be great. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like a set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. This might be it! Oh, my. Drew McIntyre's career. Story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go his plan, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. You gotta believe this one's over. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Beautiful technique. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a... He goes for the cover. And a 
kick out. Let's do it. Nobody's surprised. McIntyre's still in this. Drew McIntyre beginning to peter out here. I just want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in
McIntyre has always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and we've seen this before. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a he's looking at it. Two were saying about McIntyre's. Like, Here we go a second time. Impactful slam. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here is your winner, Travis Bucky. Sending a message. A true powerhouse in every sense of the word. One of the most powerful superstars ever to grace a WWE ring. And a man whose bark and bite are equally as lethal. Think back to WrestleMania 2 when... Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one on one matchup. Stop. 
spinning kick to the gut. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for a top. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. That's you should go with him, Byron. Oof. The British Bulldog on his heels now. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Well, he's clearly not used to competing in a match like this, and it's starting to show. Slaughter's famous 1981 alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to fall count anywhere. What a strike! Boom! Bulldog not looking himself here. Oh, He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. and what he has to do oh, to man. rebound. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even out end outside the streets. And on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is, there are no rules. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Harsh impact. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can... Good night. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have his shoulders are down. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. And what a reversal from the British football. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowding around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Oh, what impact. And what a reversal from the British football. struggling right now. He's going to need to find a way to mount a comeback. You've got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's been so physical. A striking blow. Ooh, what a jawbreaker.
This has been a battle. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Watch it out, Jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. No reverses it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Now that'll do some serious damage. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Got the leg hooked. The old Benjamin driver. Good night. He's looking for the win. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Travis Sparky. That's a win worth celebrating. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Folks, that match is why people say the Royal Rumble pay-per-view is a can't-miss event.